All right, now you're certain everything is ready for this rehearsal? As far as I can tell. The models are all lined up. We've used most of them before, so there should be no problem there. It's the music and these lighting cues that I'm worried about. It's a much more complex setup than it was last year. If it works, it'll be the hottest show LA's ever seen. But if anything should miss... It won't miss! Eric, you've hired the best people in the business. It's going to be sensational. You know you go through this every single year. Yes, I guess it goes with the territory. You're a perfectionist, and you should be. But just don't make yourself crazy. Very good advice from a very good friend. I mean it, Marco. I couldn't get through any of this without you. Let's hope you never have to. Well, I guess that's really about everything except for the big surprise. You haven't said anything to Kristen. No, I haven't, but uh, I think the time has come. You want me to go get it? Yes. Uh, tell her to put the dress on and that I just want to have uh, one last look. Margot, how does she seem? I mean, she was terribly upset. After hearing about the divorce, I know. She's feeling much better. Just the person we were looking for. Your father wants to see that cocktail design again, the black mini. So, do you mind going and putting it on? Because the models aren't going to be here till later for the rehearsal. Oh, sure. Everything's okay, isn't it? Yes, yes. I, I just want to make some adjustments in Margot's commentary. Well, it should be down in the fitting room. Won't take me but a minute to change. Are you sure nothing's wrong? I mean, about the dress. What could be wrong? No, we just want to be sure that we present the dress in the best possible way. Uh, Margot, uh, what do you think? Well, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Well, as I see it, the stage is completely dark, except for four spots that follow the model all the way to the end of the runway. And when she gets there, she pivots, detaches the train. And then a handsome gentleman in white tie and tails comes down the stairs, taking the train. Mm -hmm. He kisses the model's hand romantically. Right. And then the model removes the ruffle from her hips and flings it over her shoulders, <laughs> like this. Then the rest of the models join her. There's a big finale, <laughs> house lights up, and thunderous applause. <laughs> And Forrester's the talk of the season. That's the idea. But wait, Dad, are you saying... I mean, does this mean that this dress is going to have the closing position? Yes, it is. I'm counting on your design to be the showstopper of the whole collection. And that's not all. I can't think of anyone better to model our premier attraction than the designer herself. You, Miss Forrester. Me? Yes. I don't know why I've never thought of it before. You're the perfect top model. Oh, Dad, I've never modeled in my life. Oh, Kristen, it's so simple. There aren't any changes. It's only one dress. After all, it is your design. And unless I miss my guess, it's going to be the hit of the show. I can't imagine anyone looking more stunning or showing the dress off better than our own, very own top model. Who could be more fitting to wear it than you? Hello? Clark, I'm glad I caught you. Kristen, what's up? Clark, I have to see you right away. Want me to come over? Uh, no, no, I, I better come to you. Okay, I'll be here. I'm on my way.
Clark, I got here as soon as I could. Krista, what's going on? Clark, we're getting in awfully deep. I have to be sure. Can I trust you? Can I really, really trust you? What do you mean, can you trust me? Kristen, I hope by now you know the answer to that. It's just that now it's more important than ever, Clark. Why? What's happened? Dad wants me to model tomorrow for the showing of the fall collection. He wants me to be the top model. Well, Kristen, that's fantastic. Wait, there's more. I'm going to be modeling the showstopper, the design Dad thinks is the most outstanding for the season. Well, I don't understand why you're so uptight. It's a fabulous opportunity. I haven't told you what design I'll be wearing. It's yours, Clark. The one Dad thinks I designed. The whole reason he's so excited about me doing the modeling is that he wants the designer to present her own creation. My God, Clark, what am I gonna do? Do? You're gonna go in there as the gorgeous creature that you are and steal the show. Kristen, it's our dream come true. You as the top model, wearing the design that I made for you. The design Dad thinks is mine, Clark. What difference does it make? Do you realize what this means? Eric Forster has given the most prestigious position in the showing to my design. He's saying he thinks my work is the best of the best. Which is why we have to tell Dad the truth, Clark. We can't let him go on believing that this is my design, not with this big buildup. Why not? Clark, we can't Kristen, listen to me. If we tell your father right before the showing, it'll blow his whole world apart. And besides, I thought we agreed that we'll see how this little number sells. It's one thing to get the top position in the showing, but it's another to see how the buyers react. Without any orders, we're just another page in the book. You really think we should wait? We have everything to gain and nothing to lose. Everything is working out perfectly, Kristen. We're a team. We can't quit now. I don't know. Trust me. I want to. God, how I want to, Clark. But my dad means the world to me. If something should happen where this blows up in our faces, he'd never forgive me for lying to him. I'd never forgive myself. I'm telling you, it won't happen. Why should it? Look, let's just get through the false showing. If we emerge as number one, your dad will be thrilled. With all the orders pouring in, he won't care who did the final design, you or me. He'll just be glad that it's a Forester. You really think so? Kristen, you have nothing to worry about. It's all coming together perfectly, just the way we planned it. So just relax and enjoy it. Yes, I'm here. Where were you all day? Oh, I had some errands I had to run. How are you holding up? <sighs> I don't know if it's nerves or what, but I feel pretty lousy. It's nerves. I suppose so. You'll do fine. Did Dad tell you? Yes, and I'm sure that you're very proud, too. Well, that's what I try to keep telling myself. What's the matter? You know what the matter is, Mother. That design is going to be the showstopper, and I'll be the model wearing it. Honey, it isn't too late. You can still tell your father that it isn't your design and that it's Clark's. I wonder how Dad will react. I wouldn't want to hazard a guess on that one. He may pull the piece from the show. Yes, that's a distinct possibility. And if he does that... No, I can't let him do that to Clark. I mean, he does love the dress. That's why he's featuring it. Well, that's what he says. 
But you don't believe him? Honey, he says that he loves the design. He also happens to think that it is your design. But that's irrelevant. The point is, it's good, whoever the designer is, which happens to be Clark. But he deserves this opportunity, Mother. I can understand why you'd buy that rationale. But you still think I should tell Dad? Well, let's think it through. If somebody in the press found out that a designer from Spectra, which is the biggest fashion pirating company in California, had designed the centerpiece of the Forrester Fall collection. How would it get out? No one knows but you and me. And Clark. Mother, he never say anything. I love him and trust him completely. I mean, don't you trust him? I want to, honey. God knows I want to. Hope you're finished. We need this rack downstairs now to be... What's wrong with you? Nothing. Nothing at all. Well, that's a lie. <sighs> I used my thumb as a pin cushion, okay? Here, let me see. Let me see. Oh, don't. Margot. Our biggest showing of the year is tomorrow. I want to know what your problem is. You want to know what my problem is? Mm -hmm. All right, I'll tell you. I have nothing at stake in this show, Ridge, and quite honestly, it bothers me. What do you mean you have nothing at stake? You had a hand in practically every one of these designs. Oh, sure. I keep your father's coffee cup filled as he sits at his easel. Margo, you did a hell of a lot more than that. What's really bothering you? Never mind. Could it be Dad's involvement with another woman? Or my involvement with Brooke Logan? Or is it my sister? Look, you wouldn't admit it, but it bothers you. The fact that Dad chose Kristen's design and not one of yours to be featured tomorrow. She hasn't even been here a year, Rich. Not even one year. I thought that was it. And it's everything else you said, too. Uh, things are just not going very well for me these days. <sighs> I'm sorry. Listen, you have work to do. I'll be fine. Honestly. All right. Oh. Margot Lindley. No. No, I can talk. Now? Sure. Why not? I'll be right over.